Well, there was quite a bit of news about Nebraska's quarterback situation over the last couple days. Nebraska got a transfer in Jeff Sims. That's another dual threat quarterback that a lot of folks think could start immediately. And then there's Dylan Rayola, who has decommitted from Ohio State, and a lot of fans are hopeful that means he's going to come play for Nebraska in 2024. So what does all this mean? Well, I'm Don Collins. This is the Don Collins Show. And I'm going to answer two questions. Who I think is going to start for Nebraska in 2023, and whether or not Dylan Raiola is going to play for Nebraska in 2024 and beyond. Before we talk about Nebraska quarterbacks, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel in the last couple weeks, last couple months, well heck, since I started this channel. I'm over 1,100 subscribers right now, and just thinking that 1,100 people would watch any one video is humbling, but to think that my videos are getting 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10,000 10, views or more sometimes is it's crazy. I don't, even, I don't know what to say about it, so it's, it's super cool, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then send me an email with your mailing address to doncollins at mail.com. And when we hit 2,000 subscribers, anyone that subscribes between 1,000 and 2,000 subscribers and sends me the mailing address, will get something cool in the mail, something Husker related, something along the lines of another autographed player card, in this case, Casey Thompson. Nebraska's quarterback situation has not been the problem in the last decade. There have been very good quarterbacks play for Nebraska and turn in pretty decent numbers, in fact, sometimes great numbers, and have great games and, and statistics that you think would be enough to win you some games, and that's despite offensive lines that were terrible and run games that weren't there and predictable play calling and horrible clock management. So when you see Nebraska piling up more quarterback potentials for 2023, and then you look ahead to 2024, I know that a lot of you are excited about the prospect of getting some guys in, but that hasn't been Nebraska's problem. The quarterback has not been the weak spot. But given that Matt Rule has taken over the team, he's the new head coach, he's making some changes, and I'm going to talk about the quarterbacks I see on the roster right now with the highest percent chance of becoming the starter, and then we'll talk about Dylan Rayola in 2024. But there are some key differences, and there are some factors that I think are going to make it more obvious for one guy to start than the rest of these guys. And let's start talking about that with Casey Thompson. First of all, this is Matt Rule's team. Casey Thompson is not his quarterback. At best, Casey Thompson will have to win the job if he's healthy and wants to play. Matt Rule's time at Nebraska will not be defined by the choices of prior coaches and recruiters. In short, Casey Thompson's time as a starter at Nebraska was brief barring some set of circumstances that seems very unlikely. And that takes me to Jeff Sims. Jeff Sims is a very strong addition. He is a true dual threat, closer to Adrian Martinez than Casey Thompson, which fits Matt Rule's vision of a Nebraska focus on power football. We've talked about that before, by the way, in, in other videos. This is Matt Rule's first big win, and he's going to start unless Casey Thompson wants to stay and is healthy and wins the job in a clear, unambiguous way. He's also got more time left than Casey, is younger by a few years, and is going to be a nice bridge for the next starter. The next starter, I know a lot of you think, is going to be Dylan Rowe, who we'll get to in a moment. That brings me to Malik, Malik Hornsby. Malik is absolutely a wild card. I would have told you all bets were on for Malik before Jeff Sims transferred. But now Malik could reconsider because... Although he's a true dual-threat quarterback, his numbers as a passer are not as good as Thompson or Sims. If Jeff Sims and Malik are on the same team, now remember, we just talked about Jeff Sims and Casey Thompson. If it's Jeff Sims and Malik Hornsby, if they're on the same team, the edge goes to Sims unless Malik shows something dramatic. If he wants to play at Nebraska, it's going to be as a gadget player, special situations guy, or receiver. Jeff Sims and Casey Thompson would have to not be available for Malik to take the first uh, to take the starting job outright. I don't see any way that one of those guys isn't the clear starter and one of those it, it, most likely Malik Hornsby not taking a starting role as a quarterback under any circumstances when you got Jeff Sims and Casey Thompson on the, on the roster. But one of those guys not going to be a starting quarterback or not be on the team. And if I had to make my guess right now, I'd have to go with Matt Rule's guy, Jeff Sims, Casey Thompson, number two, 
and Malik Hornsby special situations if he plays at quarterback. And finally, I want to talk about Dylan Ryola because this is the guy that everyone's excited about for 2024. But I want you to listen very carefully to what I say because I, I'm going to talk about this in a way I haven't heard anybody else talk about. Everyone talks about the, the glowing abilities and talents he's got and how awesome it would be for Nebraska. Well, check this out. Dylan Ryola's talents are clear. His connection to Nebraska is no secret. On film, he looks like Jared Allen with accurate deep throws and Patrick Mahomes making something out of nothing, eluding defenders in the backfield. He's absolutely worth all five stars. But even if Dylan commits to Nebraska and his uncle Donovan is the offensive line coach and his dad recruits players for the offensive line, as has been reported, if Thompson, Sims, Hornsby, or other Nebraska quarterbacks on stretchers, Dylan will not play for Nebraska. Do not be fooled by a commitment from Dylan until the 2023 season is a few games in. I don't care what the news is tonight, tomorrow. I don't care if on Christmas every Husker fan gets a personally signed Christmas card from Dylan Rayola that says, hey, I'm coming to Nebraska in 2024. If you see Nebraska quarterbacks running around for their trying not to get hit or getting hit, to the average of three sacks a game in 2023, just a few games in, Dylan Raiola will not be at Nebraska. His talents are absolutely off the charts, but his talents will be used somewhere else if Nebraska quarterbacks can't remain upright in 2023. Now you'll notice on this list, there's some, some glaring omissions. Nothing about Logan Smothers, nothing about Chubba Purdy, and any of the other quarterbacks on the roster right now. Well, that's because those guys aren't going to start for Nebraska. There is no chance, I, there's zero possibility that Logan Smothers or Chubba Purdy are starting for Nebraska in 2023. It's not happening. It's going to be, in my opinion, Jeff Sims number one, if he wants it and if he shows on the field he's good enough. Casey Thompson number two, if he's healthy and wants to stay on the team. And Malik Hornsby in, those gadget, in that gadget role, maybe even as a receiver or something else. And Dylan Raiola, he may come to Nebraska, but only after watching what happens to those three guys first. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your subscriptions. And uh, go Big Red, and I'll see you next time.